Alright, what is going on guys? It's Greg here today, bringing you guys probably my craziest tactical nuke yet. This is a team deathmatch on Grozno Raid, and I am using a one attachment M13 going for seasonal challenges, using claymores for the seasonal challenge as well. And this is something very strange. I'm trying to figure out how to actually do the claymore challenge, because I have one out of 20, yet I've gotten way more kills than just one, and I... They're, they're not counting, so I'm trying shrapnel this this time because I think maybe shrapnel you have to use, so I'm trying that out because uh, I think that's how I got my one kill or whatever, but I start off, this is the only death I'm actually going to take this match, and it was me getting throwing knifed off the start. Well, I mean, I am going to die from my nuke, obviously, but anyways, um, so I get this rush route off to laundry over here. And this is a good place for you guys to go off the start of the game uh, to get a nice little area of their spawn because generally in Modern Warfare, uh, the spawns are very linear. You're going to be on one side of the map. The enemies are going to be on the other side of the map. There's not going to be too much spawning in the middle. So you have a long way to run. That's why the tack insert can be kind of useful if you do want to use as your field upgrade. But obviously that's really only going to be useful in objective modes uh, compared to something like Team Deathmatch where it's all about the kills and you're probably going to want to be using something like Dead Silence. You can sneak up on your enemies. So right here, I'm trying to get a feel for my enemies, the way they're going to be playing this match. That's kind of like how I like to do. I like to take it a little bit slow in the beginning of the match and then adjust if I need to speed up a little bit um, or I need to slow down. So right here, I'm... A Seeing that they're not really moving around much, they're kind of just hugging their spawn, so I'm going to go ahead and make my way over to tires. And once I get up top here, this guy's just duck walking around, this guy's not paying attention, so I was kind of like, this might be a Timmy lobby, I wasn't really sure. Um, I think a few games before this one, I went like 20 to 14 or something, and then there was another game where I went like maybe 24 and 6 or something um, so they weren't like the highest kill death ratios it, it was a lot of just angle peaking and rainbow six style gameplay that I was uh, playing but anyways right here I'm actually going to slow down my speed um, in the match because I thought I had kill chain on instead of EOD so I was just waiting for my harrier to get me my advanced UAV because I wanted to make sure it would seal the deal and after a couple kills that my Harrier gets me, I realize, oh, I could have been running around, you know, trying to get these kills the whole time while my VTOL's up assisting me. And instead I was waiting in tires for people to walk in, you know, letting my Harrier do the work. And about this, it was right here where I realized, you know, like, oh my goodness, I don't have kill chain on. So I go ahead and I'm trying to see if this guy was there. I thought he was spraying for a while. I guess he had to reload. So I went over, you know, just eventually killed him. But, um, yeah, one attachment M13. I actually, the reason I think this is one of my craziest nukes is because I have to pick up guns off the ground to try to survive, and both are pistols, okay? Both of the, both of the guns I pick up at the end for ammo are pistols. So, yeah. I mean, of course, I was blessed that there was an Akimbo snake shot nerd in this lobby, and I got that as my, one of my pistols. But, um, the other one was a Renetti that was not, like, didn't have attachments, and... Well, it didn't have the three-round burst. And a Renetti semi-auto isn't really all that good. Right here, shooting through um, blocked objects, I guess you could say, like railings like that, you don't get aim assist. So that was very, very hairy right there. I almost got clapped by that guy. Uh, thank goodness he was drawing circles around me too. Otherwise, you know, that probably would have ended really bad. But uh, right here, my advanced runs out. I know there's a guy to my right and to my left. I peek this guy real quick, pull back in. All right, he doesn't peek yet. There he is. I get him. So now I'm on a 21. All right, I completed my challenge for one attack. Excuse me, one attachment. I was really glad about that. So I know that there's a spawn to the left of me, a spawn to the right of me. They're not going to be spawning in the middle around this building, but they will be spawning behind blue. So right here, I picked this guy off with the Renetti. A few missed shots there, not the greatest aim. Um, and then I pick up these snake shots. So now I have 38 bullets left in my M13. Got to make them count. Make sure I'm going to seal the deal on this. I didn't think anyone was behind me, except there was. So now I'm pinned, right? There's a spawn point to my right, and there's spawns all the way to the left behind laundry. So I don't know what to do at this point. I have no information on where enemies are, except for that one guy that shot at me. There's nine other players that could be anywhere. They could be spawning to my right. They could be spawning to my left. I got to think of all these things while I'm trying to keep the streak alive. So I take out one of them. 
This guy starts shooting at me again. I come over here, all right? I see the teammates there. I'm going to come back into tires because I feel safe in tires since I can't be peeked from too many angles. So I kill that guy that's up there. I get another pick, and now I'm out of ammo for my M13. I need five more kills. So now at this point, I'm like, I'm just going to have to play Sound Horse. So right here, I'm concealing my lasers because I hate green lasers, but this guy was using them. So I was concealing them against the wall. I pick up his Renetti, and at this point, I'm like... They are hunting. This Like, two people, I think, on their team starts hunting me. This guy with the Renetti, and then there's, like, another guy that's hunting me. So at this point, I still got to hide my lasers. So that's why I pulled out the snake shots. Heard this guy running. So I, I heard he was sprinting, and I knew that he wasn't going to be paying attention. Right here, I pick up this MP7. This MP7 had a lot more recoil than I was expecting or used to. So you will see right here, I get one kill. And then I believe I kill an another guy that's, like, passing the yeah I, I heard him down underneath me okay so i pick up the nuke right there right i take off this guy you guys will see right here after i call in the nuke i go for a kill on someone else that's like down below and you guys will just see how terrible my recoil control was but oh my goodness what an insane nuke this was for me like i, I was just i don't even know right here i was just like what what am i shooting at um but yeah just it was just crazy because I feel like I was just so pinned there the whole time because they knew where I was. I didn't know where they were. I didn't have another advance, but I pulled through um, and I just held my held held my ground in that positioning. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that nuke. I thought it was a pretty crazy gameplay. If you guys thought so too, drop a like and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.